Okay, so this is Flushing Meadows Park. This lady on my right did not want to listen to the bell, so I had to swerve around her a little bit. You see a couple of these people with carts. It's uh, Saturday, so they're setting up for selling uh, goods and food because this place is a hot spot on Saturday. A lot of parties and barbecues and whatnot. And mind you, this is like 8 a.m. So there's a little bit of a cones and barriers because there's a race on uh, here i am just you know riding through it because i am an asshole so that was the unisphere and this is one of my local spots to go to to just ride my bike usually my hybrid but obviously got the new brompton so we're just cruising around unisphere again um it looks small it's actually pretty big uh this is like um not cobblestone but not a joy to ride through you know, if with the small wheels, oh, bigger wheels, you don't really feel anything. But um, I usually do circles here, just cruise around. Um, very nice day today. Uh, here's the bike. Here's my torch. Oh, funny story. I got pooped on right on that bell on the left side, the Incredible Bell. Didn't even realize until I got to the car and I was covered in it, like my hands, the frame. So uh, here's another shot. And uh, if you fo forward to, I think I said 240. I'll give you guys a detailed tour of Flushing Meadows Park, but look at that view. Uh, it used to be blue. I think it was filled with water back in the day during the World's Fair, but, you know, obviously you can't do that now. There's the two spaceships. Um, more details on that later in the video. So if you guys do get a chance. Uh, this is one side of the park. There's another side over Grand Central Parkway. There's like space rockets and like um, a museum. Uh, not a museum, museums on this side, uh, zoo, something along those lines. So it's a pretty big park, actually. There's uh, boat rentals. Um, there's a lot of soccer fields. You could run, you can cruise. Uh, pretty nice area, you know. Normally, during the summer, this place is packed. Uh, it's a good place to go. Bring your girl, your boy, whatever. And uh, this is the theater. And uh, I'm going to show you guys what the spaceships look like but unfortunately i couldn't get any closer because of that race but it looks pretty good it looks like they're doing some improvements so stay tuned uh forward in a couple of minutes i think 240 and uh that'll be the uh tour all right guys so i just finished the five mile ride around flushing meadows park but let me give you guys a tour so this is the queen's museum says dear service worker thank you for keeping new york city alive forever well you're welcome here i am walking with the <laughs> brompton so i've actually never been in this museum before uh more or less it's kind of small but i hear if you have children it's a nice thing to do one of these random days there i am sorry about the noise kind of loud we're up by Grand Central Parkway, so the GCP, very loud. So anyway, shout out to all the service workers and the people who work in hospitals and whatnot, EMT, especially around here, Elmhurst Hospital. That was the center of the center of the center of the pandemic, so shout out. So if you can see, there's a senior care bus here. That usually means someone's gone. I'm kidding. Anyway, this is one of the other parking lots. So, there are the two spaceships. I believe there's a documentary called Men in Black. It's the uh, documentary from the 90s about spaceships and shit. So, it's under construction. Elon Musk probably bought it or something to uh, launch Rocket uh, 35 or whatever. See a lot of people running. Never use these. Them shits are gross. This is the Queen's Theater. Stuff happens in there. Performances probably for kids. Or just alien shit. Special events, dance family. And here is the Unisphere. So if you guys saw the documentary about uh, Iron Man 2, uh, I believe this was designed by Howard Stark, his daddy. Uh, biggest thing with that, he had daddy issues. Sorry about the wind. I don't have a mic because I'm broke from buying this bike. But the industry is pretty cool. During the summer, they turn the uh, fountains on and kids play in there and get salmonella. 
That's pretty legit. And you always see people dating here and whatnot, picnics and uh, all that jazz. It's kind of cool. Oh yeah, this was huge for Pokemon. When Pokemon first started, everybody was around this fountain. A lot of stuff, a lot of Dragon Knights and uh, Snorlaxes and whatnot. Never could hold this gym. And here is like a little blueprint area. You know, the Howard Stark design. Tells you how to beat Ultron and whatnot. Space guy. You go down. Like I almost did. Because if you're not paying attention, you go down these steps. And welcome to the skate park. A couple of people know what they're doing. Most people don't. Shoot for the stars. Because if you don't, then you don't. Look at that view, huh? Can't beat that.